And as a lead into split edits, I'm going to show you how audio edits can be a little different sometimes from video edits. I'm going to first flick to the range selection tool. And let's say I want to remove this part of this clip on the primary storyline. So I select that part with the range selection tool and just press the delete key. That part goes away, leaving me with the first part leading straight into the second part of the shot. And then I'll come back. Now, obviously there's a jump cut and I could disguise that in any number of ways, but the principle is that the gap disappears. If I do the same thing on a connected clip like this one, deleting leaves a massive gap in between. So of course the way to work around that is with the selection tool, select the entire clip and then go to clip and create storyline or command G. Think of it as grouping. It puts that clip into a little box and now when you do a range selection, it behaves like it's on the primary storyline. Now, if you've got an audio clip, obviously that's connected below. If I was to select part of the clip, and you'll see here, I've put it in a secondary storyline already because we want this kind of effect. Let's say this is a VO and I'm removing an um or an ah uh around here. Something's changed in the way that audio works. If I press delete, it actually just makes it silent. I'll just undo. You just need a new shortcut. Command, option, delete. Now that's how you're going to remove bumps and things you want to remove from a VO.